If you bought one of these because you're playing Wembley Stadium next week, but you have no idea how to put one inside your guitar, well don't worry, it's not Tommy Boy, that's me. We're going to talk you through it. First of all, we're going to drill the access point, or as I like to call it, the guitar uh, I'm going to put a piece of tape on here so I can make a mark. This tape is also going to protect the finish. I'm going to put mine right in the middle of the end of the guitar here. So before we drill this hole, I need to put a little center point on here. We're just going to use this, uh, the tip of this brad point bit. And then I've got this really nice stepped drill bit here. And just take care to make sure it's perfectly vertical and wish me godspeed. Wait, is this the right guitar? Just kidding. <laughs> Easy. All right, so I wanna make sure, get rid of anything that could scratch up the finish. I've got a nice non-slip mat here, which I'm gonna put some of this shop towel on to aid in this procedure. I've got a little folded out mirror. That's gonna go in here. I've also got this uh, video light. This is a really handy little thing. I can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick this to the back of the upper transverse brace. And the upper transverse brace is the brace that is on your soundboard and it runs kind of just above your sound hole. And it is a brace that does many things, but as far as the active portion of the soundboard is concerned, beyond the upper transverse brace, the soundboard is, is not vibrating. It's not contributing to the sound of the instrument. So I'm pretty comfortable in sticking something to the other side, to this side of the brace. You can see the brace I'm talking about if you look inside the sound hole. Sometimes you'll have a truss rod access point there as well. It's literally just under, just at the top of the sound hole. So I'm gonna install it so that the microphone scoops down and back up and is gonna be pointing at the strings from inside the guitar. And then we're gonna neatly fasten it to the inside of the guitar. So we've got to take our time with this. It's really fiddly, but you just gotta be patient. So a lot of this is down to feel. You've got to kind of plan where you're gonna put something, practice putting it there before you commit to, to taking off the sticky back backing. Because once you do that, once you stick it down, it ain't moving. So I think we're pretty happy with that going there. Okay. Wish me luck. We're going in. So we've got the we've got the microphone positioned, and now we're just going to tidy up the cables with these sticky on things. They only come supplied with two. I would advise like getting some more off Amazon. I'm going to put one like here, here, and here, and here. Maybe one more somewhere else, depending on how fruity I'm feeling, and uh, more fiddly. So you don't need to see this. Let's get to the next part. Congratulations, you slash I have made it this far and um, nobody died. Time to fit the golden discs of destiny to the bridge plate. So these pole pieces are literally getting glued to the soundboard. So we've got this, um, this is just a generic gel super glue. And what I like to do to aid in the, the process is to wet out a piece of kitchen towel with some super glue accelerator. Like get it pretty nice and wet. And then just dab that onto the bridge plate. I wanna get some of that accelerator onto the surface of the bridge plate. And that's gonna really help the super glue to go off nice and quickly once everything's in place. Because once these are in, once you've positioned them, you don't wanna be hanging around. You want them to tack off straight away. We have this, we have a golf tee. We're gonna be playing Jupiter Hills today. We have this other piece of plastic. So we have this little jig, it's a little piece of plexiglass. And the idea is it's like a mounting jig. It's gonna help us locate um, each pole piece using the saddle as a reference. Um, and then we can take this whole assembly off, slip it in through the sound hole and uh, attach from the other side. So we've got some like, sticky putty stuff here. I guess you'd call it like, if you're from the UK, you'd be familiar with blue tack. This is like a white, a white tack. And we've got enough so that we can use a fresh piece, fresh little ball every time. So 
So basically, we've this is where it's going to go, but on the on the underside of the of the, of the bridge plate, um, it's going to sit. This first piece is going to sit directly below the high E string. So you want to make sure that the transducer is nicely attached on there, that it's not going to pop off. You're going to be putting super glue on here. You don't want this coming off midway through this procedure. Once the super glue sticks, if it's not stuck in the right place, trying to get it off, you're probably going to damage the, the, the transducer, if not ruin it completely. And um, that's no fun. So <clears throat> I've done this a few times before. So I know what to kind of feel for, but you are going to want to practice because it is fiddly. But this jig is, is smart. I like it. So use the second golf tee to kind of, as a locator. Check that you're happy with where that's going to sit. Feeling brave, it's time to go at it with some super glue. I like to put just one generous blob right in the middle. You want enough so that it's going to all spread around when it makes contact and ideally just kind of have a little bit of squeeze out all around the edge. So at this point I just like to offer it up, grab the little white portion of the jig, double check that everything's still where it should be and just pull the little white stick up. Watch for the glue squeeze out, put your hand back in and just give this a little press. You don't want to press too hard, you don't want to put too much glue on. If you press too hard and you've got too much glue on, the putty is going to go all around the outside of the pole piece, the transducer, it's going to get stuck to the, the glue and it, it's going to look pretty horrible. So just hold that there for a couple of seconds if you've put the activator on there. Try and get your hand out. And then I like to just push this white stick down. Hopefully the pickup will have attached. Just do it ever so gently. Boom, and there we have it. Nicely attached, nice bit of squeeze out, but with no putty glued to the transducer. And so we're gonna do that two more times and then we're done. All three transducer thingies in. And now we're going to put this puppy all back together and hopefully play some sweet, sweet music. So I've got this tiny little spanner or wrench for setting the, uh, the end pin jack. I'm just going to put a little Allen key in there. It's not too tight, we don't want to crack the lacquer. All right, we did it. That's it. One K and K Trinity installed. If you like this video, or even if you didn't, hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, ring the bell in case you need notifying of anything. And um, check out some of our other videos. If you're new to the channel, we've got sessions. Maybe they're going to be up here. Who knows? We've also got uh, lots of guitar content. And that's it. See you next time. <laughs>